are on a serious pecan kick. Move all the nasty walnuts out the way. Get some pumpkin seed action in there. Throw you one of the nut, the ones that you're not supposed to have. But today we're being super nice. Like anything, our squirrel's diet should be moderation. Not too much of this, not too much of that. Right, buddy? You tell him, Dad. Brisby is about 10 months old now. We figured he was a month old when he came to us last September. So a lot of birthdays happening over the summer. Next month is Tina and Brisby. Both Leo August babies. I'm not going to hassle him too much today. I think he'll probably be in and out several times because there are, will be daytime fireworks. And I'm sure that that will freak them out. And then this evening, I'm not even sure. I wish that there was a way to invite the entire Dre to come hang out on the back porch. But there's no way to entice them. They all come through here, but there's no way to make them stay. But this isn't their first 4th of July. Well, it is Brisby's, but this isn't most of the squirrels' fourth, first 4th of July. There have been New Year's. And so, and out here in this rural part of central Florida, they're doing fireworks and shooting weapons all the time. So it's not going to be a, a new experience for these squirrels, but the 4th and New Year's are usually the worst as far as major activity. Oh, back to the pecans. Too busy talking and not fulfilling my duties. Sorry, Briz. I'm allowed to narrate and host Brisby's show, but as long as I keep my end of the bargain up, which means feed me, Seymour. Hmm. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> Not much happening today. Tina is off, miraculously. Um, oh, 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 I gotta show you. I know you won't be able to read it. Sorry, Brisbane, you didn't mean to freak you out. I'm let Brisby see it first, because you don't ever want to surprise him. But this is Brisby's book. I don't know, somebody fell out of a tree, I think. I just heard a big thud. You can see your book? Hmm. He doesn't like the white paper. The pictures of himself he doesn't mind so much. You just chuck them pieces off, don't you? Nothing in the bag. Oh, my bag has the good stuff in it. That's it. He took off. Let's see if we can figure out where he's going to go. But what I was trying to show you is uh, I finished the Brisby book. Hey man, what you doing? I stayed away from you this morning. You and the camera. 
he was raised with the camera so he doesn't seem to mind it but he is uh hey Doug good morning been a while I'm just here showing off my well my dirty house right now but there's Brisby and there he goes back out Hit it up the tree, or are you gonna sit and snack? It's time to play now. We have breakfast. Yeah, get it. He's a good boy. Oh, you're so rough. You're such a rough squirrel. You are. You are a rough squirrel. Oh, yes. Terrible. My turn. Drop the camera. Yeah, get it. You're such a ferocious squirrel. You're still furiosious. You're so furiosious. I know. You're a brutal squirrel. That it, going back up the tree. Be careful, dude. Trying to be wary <clears throat> of all these branches.
It's one of those fermented acorns that he seems to love. I wonder after they've sat there for so long what the alcohol content is. This is a new pile. This must have fallen last night. The storms aren't the only things that bring down branches. <laughs> These uh, just light rains, just rotting of uh, rotting of the wood. This is an old grove, so trees tend to fall regularly. <laughs> Which keeps us busy on squirrel watch. We're always looking out for anybody who might have fallen out with the tree limb. So far we've been lucky. But with hurricane season right at its beginnings, we, uh... Okay. Where'd you go? <laughs> anyway, with hurricane season right at the beginning of it... Oh, there you are. Duh, Joey. Uh, I'm anticipating a lot more. Alright, if you will bear with me as I show you the canopy and head oh, <laughs> head back toward the house because I wanted to A, give you a glimpse of that finished piece of Brisby and the brush or his branch as he calls it and secondly of the completed first draft. There's Mr. B. When he stole one of my uh, brushes as I was painting and decided he needed to go and try and make flowers for himself. And this is my first rough. The first rough rough. <laughs> was uh, just to get everything in place, get some ideas, and let me know if uh, I was being inclusive enough. Because knowing Brisby, in, knowing Brisby intimately as we do, I take a lot of things for granted that people will understand in my writing. And if they weren't here to experience parts of that journey like some of you were, it uh, led to some confusion, which I was glad that uh, they let me know. So I think I fixed most of it and I've explained a great deal of our journey. So once I poke around it a few more times and uh, get some of you to take a look at it, we'll see where we go from there. All right, I appreciate your time. That is not Brisby, but this is my day. I sit, stand, draw, write all day and do various things. But this, uh, this is a regular thing. Squirrels just, hey. I'm going to stop by, if you don't mind. That is Dale. Dale was with the smallest kit for a long time and started coming in real early. And that's about as close as he'll let me get to him. And if you can see out on the stand, beyond that, there's already somebody else. I think that might be Chip. 
and Chip and Dale were not named at the same time. I named Chip because of the dings in his ears. And Dale, now that's Bruce. Okay. I don't know if you can see the little dark squirrel there at the bottom, but that's Bruce. I know that because he is the darkest squirrel in the dray. All right, I'm out. Have a great fourth. Please remember that uh, fireworks do not only freak your dogs out, the squirrels living in the trees that these things pop up over. It's a long night for them. So enjoy your fireworks, but uh, keep them safe, and I'll talk to you later.